stop, collaborate and listen. Just stop, guys. If today was your last day, where would you be? What would you be doing? Would you change? I, for one, would be running around the Tate Modern Art Gallery naked, just because I can. And for once, maybe I wouldn't change my underwear, just because I can. Actually, I wouldn't bother revising for that maths exam, simply because I can. Now, life is a precious gift that many of us take for granted. My Uncle Jimmy never took life for granted. I only ever saw him with a smile from here to here and an abundance of optimism, knowing that one day his, his disease did kill him. He would sing with his loud, manly voice, and all six foot two of him would dance around the living room like it was nothing. But most importantly, he lived. The day he died, I vowed to live my life. You know, really live. I mean, I don't wrestle Indian tigers in the wilderness or bungee jump backwards off the Eiffel Tower. But I have climbed a mountain. I have overcome my fear of confined spaces. And I have flashed my knickers in LA. But between you and me, the wind was partly to blame. <laughs> so imagine, you're in your front room on a cozy Saturday afternoon watching Simon Cowell absolutely destroy someone on the X Factor. Then you blink, and everything's gone. The windows shatter abruptly before your eyes. The ceiling crashes down at the tip of your toes. Car alarms are screeching like the sirens. And then where's mum? Where's your dad? Brother? Sister? This is how the devastated victims of the tsunami in Japan felt when their life flashed before their eyes. They did not get a choice in their last day, and neither will we. So now I ask you, if today was your last day, where would you be? What would you be doing? Would you all change? If you take anything from today, take home a new attitude. Try and sneeze with your eyes open. Treat your mum like a queen and not just a princess. Get excited to swim with your friends and not just the dolphins. You only get one life. Live every day like it's your last. You may be wondering why I took my shoes off. And guess what, guys? It's because I can. <laughs>